Hisco, we've been talking also a bit about, uh, you have been talking a bit about your inspirations. Um, for us as a, as a, as a movie ch channel, what would be three animated movies that everybody should watch in your opinion excluding your own work of course then yeah. so uh <laughs> <laughs> well did you see my film drunk here no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. well it is recommendable i have to say it is on yeah, vimeo for the people watching vimeo so, you uh, can see it's yeah. Worth, yeah. Yeah. no but but you know i'm i'm not i don't watch animation all the time i watch feature films way more but the film that i keep watching over and over again is bambi which is a, a disney yeah. film from 1941 i think 1940 and the reason for that is that, uh, I mean, most people associate it with sentimentality and all those kinds of things, but you too, yeah? Yeah, well, well, it, it, was my, it, it was my first uh, cinema experience and I yeah. had to yeah, cry. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, that's right. so that's sentimentality, <laughs> sentimentality in a good way. But some people, you know, in the 80s, people would find it uh, the ultimate kitsch. Yeah, but for me, it's not true. I think it's a piece of art. I think that uh, at that time, it was a new medium, so that it was the second, I think, second or third um, feature animated film. And uh, what I think is that Walt Disney was actually um, trying to make a piece of art. I mean, mm. the composer made an orchestral score that's not that's very close to to real good classical music. You know, it's very well composed. Then all the paintings were done most by uh, on oil, with oil paint too, or with pastels, and okay. all the animation is on such. I mean, every frame is, is great. And then, of course, what I like about story is that it's not really a story; it's more like uh, the nature coming to life, you know. Yeah. And I think the scene of uh, Bambi's mother dying is probably one of the most touching scenes ever made i think yeah. it's a genius yeah. scene really it's yeah. it's so incredibly touching you know and um for everybody you know almost not not everybody but i think most people who see it at some stage in their in their life will be touched especially if you've lost somebody yeah uh so that's uh, yeah the artistic level of that film and uh, i just keep watching it because i always think like this was and that's often in in, in mediums like also in comics, you know, like Winston McKay, who made Little Nemo, that was, he started, he was the first, and he already <coughs> raised the bar to an enormous level. And oil painting, it's the same. You know, like, like one of the first oil painters was in uh, in the 16th century was Van Eyck, Jan Van Eyck. Yeah. Well, nobody ever made something as good as Van Eyck anymore. It's so strange that like the inventors of a new medium get to this enormous level. And then nobody gets well, to surpass it anymore. After how that. is it? No, I don't yeah. understand. It's, it's true. It's, it, I, I don't know what, what happens then after that, but I think yeah. it's just that people get so inspired by that possibility yeah. suddenly. Yeah. Push something. themselves yeah. to the ultimate limit, so to say, maybe. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. don't know if it, maybe it's not true, but that's how I see it. And, yeah. and, and with anime, what happened with animation, that of course it's a mass medium film and yeah. animation. And yeah. so it got industrial. And, and so now if I'm in a, in a, in a taxi in, Los Angeles and people ask me what I do and I tell them I, I'm a director of animated films. They will say, ah, you work in the entertainment industry. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's not how you like to see yourself, no. It's like, an, it's really in Los Angeles, Hollywood, it's an industry. And yeah. sometimes yeah. beautiful things come out of it. Most of it is complete shit, but the Spirit of the Way would be another one. Did you see that one? Uh, I saw it movie. this weekend. Did I saw this weekend really? because I, yeah, I heard you talking about um, uh, Japanese about one, in, no? in an interview. I thought I have to see that. It's Japanese, yeah, yeah for yeah. Studio, yeah. studio Ghibli. 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 Uh, yeah, it's from uh, yeah. Miyazaki. And that's, that's yeah. another film where I think that... Uh, that's a typical uh, example of something that can only be done with animation, like this dreamlike world yeah. where where logic sort of doesn't exist anymore. I mean, there's yeah. an internal logic to, to what happens, but it's really, uh, I think that's that's not a favorite of mine, but it's not very yeah. modern. I think most that comes out of uh, Hollywood right now is really, uh, it's well-crafted entertainment, but it doesn't, yeah, yeah. it doesn't have a lot of very, aesthetically pleasing uh, stuff in it for me not very artistic well yeah. not not in a way i would like to see it and that's no. not a film i think if you are referring to that old interview of mine i still think that father and daughter which is a short film by okay. michael Dugog de Witt. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a dutch guy who lives in uh united, uh, united kingdom uh he made a film that won an oscar called father and daughter and that's a film that you can see. I've seen it 20 or 30 times because wow. it's, it's so touching. But I have to say, 
does any one of you have children or, or not yet? Mm -hmm. You have children, yeah? yeah? Did you see Father and Daughter? Oh, you should. Oh, it's on YouTube. Oh, yeah. You can find it. You should. If you have a daughter, then it's it will hit you very, very. Okay. Today. Okay. And you <laughs> will. Uh, I can promise you that. that <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's just it's, it's such a beautiful story, and I, I recommend it because it's um, a story that you can watch over and over again because it's not really a linear story. It's more like okay. A so every time you watch it, you see different things. Something new. Yeah. It's not a linear story. It's more like a. How did you say? It? It's more like a, a poem. Po a poem. Poem. Like, oh, like, yeah. wow. like there is some there's some development and it goes goes from A to B, but it's not a real story. It's more like, yeah. Well, you should watch it. Uh, yeah, there's so much to get out of it. Yeah. Different. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. But before before I had a, a child, I just thought it was well crafted and it didn't mean anything to me. And it's just uh, since uh, a child, it hits you after. Yeah, yeah, because it's about. Yeah, well, I don't want to spoil anything, but it's about. <laughs> no, no, we're going to see it. We're going to see it. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think we think you can get the picture. Yeah. 